Uh, Gemma, you are going to flip the coin. Here we go. Katie Max call. <laughs> Tail, so Gemma, what are you going to do? Oh, we're going to have a bat. Very full ball, and that'll be the first runs of the day off the bat. And what's more, it's going to be a boundary to Debro. Oh, glorious shot off the back foot. Up on the toes, carved away well in front of point. It's going to be a big chase on, but that can be given up. As this one, chance to free her arms, whipped away through the leg side. And the first boundary of the day for Bridget Patterson. As we'll see another ball crash through the covers. Bridget Patterson, like the Patterson of old, slicing on anything with a bit of width and another boundary. I should still be right up there. Shorter cut and oh, a tough one. Bounce right on the edge of the square. Very hard to stop those balls that bounce in front of you like that. Boundary from Debro will close out the eighth over. She's cut that. Pierce the field, looking to go onto the boundary. It's a good effort, but it has crossed the line there. And she's moved her feet down to that, drive that beautifully for four runs over the rope. Looking comfortable out there, Debro, against Furling. Oh, that's just class, that, that foot movement. Well, she's got onto that one nicely, though. Another one over the rope for four runs for Debro. Potentially a run out's on. Oh, and she's clipped that beautifully to mid wicket, pierced the field, and that's another one, four runs. Slower delivery, oh. it's on the up and it's worked. Holly Ferling has picked up the wicket of Emma Debro, caught out for 28. That is the first wicket for ACT Meteors, South Australia. Good movement with her feet there, and she's not, uh, oh, it's just hit the rope on the full there. Bridget Patterson looking very comfortable there with that shot. Oh, and she's got her. Holly Furling has picked up the wicket of Tally McGrath. She's out bowled for a duck. I really have to give this commentating job away. Oh, and that's a beautiful lofted drive over the top of the field. There's four runs there, Bridget Patterson. She's using her feet. And it's definitely to her advantage. It's Webb. Can't, oh. oh, can thread the needle. Just saying that it might have been a good bit of work there by Holly Furling. Mid on to prevent that ball from getting through, but fortunately again. Oh, just glided that one. Wasn't too far away from the right hand of slip. Boundary for Courtney Webb. A little bit dangerous there. Uses her feet there, does Patterson, lofted, doesn't quite go all the way, but it's only a bounce or two, and a real strength of her game is if she can get under that ball, there's very few grounds that can hold her in Australian cricket. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's a lovely cut and can't be cut off at backward point. Just got away from the left hand there. And Courtney Webb hits the second boundary of the over, a good one for South Australia. Another one's lofted, and this one's going to beat the fielder. Yes, it does. Clutters into the pickets just in front of the commentary box. It's a reverse there. No fielders there. They are, will be chasing it hard, but it's going to cross the rope. Yep, got some bat onto that. That's four runs. And that'll bring up her 50. Oh, she's gone the reverse again, but it's up in the air. Oh, it's a drop no. catch there. From the skipper, Katie Mack. She'll be very disappointed with that. Oh, oh. and that is a brilliant caught and bowled there by Carly Leeson. Picking up the wicket there. Bridget Patterson. Out for 52. So they've made them pay. Just well. And protection's out there on the point boundary, so it's just a single. And that will be 50 for Courtney Webb. First ball from Sutcliffe to start the over. That ball's going to really challenge the gap. And in the end, not sure if there was a bit of miscommunication there, but one thing for sure, it was beautifully placed 
right between those two fielders mostly performed pretty well. And as we say that, down the track, the ball is missed and the bowls are off. And again, but this one's to the fielder and she's taken the wicket there. Carly Leeson picking up the wicket of Josie Dooley out for eight runs. Uses the feet, comes down, lofts, mid off going back, back, and very well caught. Been looking right up into the sun to take that catch. So yeah. Furling delivers just what her team needs, comes back and gets a wicket just to put the brakes on a little bit. And South Australia will take those. Gemma Barsby, how about that, if you don't mind? Bit of switch hitting there. Another slow ball. This one lofted a long way. Awkward half volley, and unfortunately it's going to beat the fielder. Always a tricky one having to come in and judge the catch or to try and stop the ball from getting past. And bold, trying a little bit too much there was Jim Abarzi, especially against the pace of Furling, and she breaks through her fourth wicket. Very well bowled by Sutcliffe. Closes out with another dot ball. Very short, nice little glide down through the third area. And Bridget Patterson and Courtney Webb, well, if they can't reel it in, no one can in Australian cricket. Boundary up the second ball. Just play back of the length, not really too much at the body. Um, and then use her pace to um, take wickets. Certainly no troubles playing that one. Beautifully pulled away by Carter. This one beats Patterson. Valiant dive. Courtney Webb will give pursuit. But all for naught. Another boundary guided down through that third area. So a little bit of risk, but getting the reward. Short. Nicely pulled. And it will beat the dive at mid-wicket. So meeting fire with fire here, these batters. Another boundary whistles away to the pickets. And they'll add a little bit more to that partnership now. Another boundary. Back to back to start the over. Carter just looking a little bit dangerous here. Yeah, she's just lent on that. It's a beautiful shot. Big appeal and the finger goes up. So she took five on Friday and it's taken all of six balls to get her first today on Sunday. Well, it's up in the air, but it's going to miss the fielder. And that's it. That's four runs there. Yeah, well, she needed that. She was getting a bit bogged down there. Kayla Burton certainly having a go. She's hit that one out cow corner. Looks like it might just be short of the six. Uh, certainly not the boundary. Oh, oh what a good. hanger! What a grab! Patterson's taken a screamer in slips. Her teammates rushed to her and rightfully so. That is a moment for the summer. Oh, huge! Wellington breaks through. Cramped, Mac for room, and she struck twice in a matter of three deliveries. Lofted, Gemma. Oh, oh it's Becky! Oh, no. Specky, anything you can do, I can do better, <laughs> Bridget Patterson. Gemma Barsby throws out the right duke and says, thank you very much. Big appeal, finger goes up. That's the one we were talking about. It was not short enough to pull. KP gets her line right. Oh, and there we have it. Darcy Brown has picked up the wicket of Olivia Porter. Bowled for four runs. It's not a bad way to come back on the comps. Yes, <laughs> not a bad way at all. Oh, Darcy Brown has done it again. She's bowled. Annie Wickman out for 35. Darcy Brown, two wickets and two overs. Oh, yeah, she's uh, peppering those stumps. In the block hole, but Sutcliffe has got it out. Looking for two, but oh, no, there's a mix up out. here. Holly Furling has taken the wicket. Slap down the ground. And Darcy Brown, one of the more simpler catches we've seen today. So a bit more reward. Lofted, this could be the game. Very well held. It's an excellent catch by Brown to finish off. What's been a dominating win for the SA Scorpions. They go two for two this weekend against the ACT Meteors. Winning today by 101 runs.